Here comes Bot. It's Christmas Eve, and he's taking a Christmas present to his Aunt Flo. I'd better hurry, says Bod. It's snowing hard. He's only gone a little way when he sees Police Constable Copper trudging through the snow. Hello, says Bod. Hello, hello, says PC Copper. Where are you off to? I'm taking a present to Aunt Flo, says Bod. So am I, says PC Copper. Then they see Frank the postman struggling through the snow. Hello, hello, says PC Copper. Where are you going? I'm taking a present to Aunt Flo, says Frank. So are we, says PC Copper. After a while, they see Farmer Barlimer. Hello, says Frank. Going to Aunt Flo's? I'm trying to, says Barlimer. So are we, says Frank. They try to go on together, but the snow is too deep. Cold, isn't it, says Barlimer. Yes, says PC Copper. Yes, says Frank. Bod is too cold to answer. Then, at midnight, when everything is very still and quiet, there's a jingle of bells. And out of the night rides Father Crispus on his sleigh. Whoa there, whoa, he cries to his reindeer when he sees the four parcels in the snow. Someone must have dropped these presents for Aunt Flo, he says, reading the labels. I better take them to her. He goes to pick the first parcel up, but he can't move it. He gives a tremendous tug, and up it comes with Bod on the end. Hello, says Bod. Then Bod helps Father Christmas pull the others out of the snow. Jump in, I'll give you a lift, says Father Christmas. Thank you, says Bod. Getting you out of the snow has made me a bit late, says Father Christmas. Would you help me deliver some presents on the way? We'd love to, says Bod. Father Christmas gives them each a sack of presents, and they all go down chimneys and fill the Christmas stockings. Happy Christmas, says Bod. Oh, what a fright you gave me, says Aunt Flo. Then Bod gives his present to Aunt Flo. It's a hat. Thank you, Bod, says Aunt Flo. How kind of you. Happy Christmas, says PC Copper. And he gives Aunt Flo his present. It's another hat. Oh, it's gorgeous, says Aunt Flo. What a kind copper you are. Then Barlymo gives his present. Guess what it is, he says. I've no idea, says Aunt Flo. Oh, what a gorgeous hat. How good of you, Barlymo, to buy me a hat. Happy Christmas, says Frank, giving Aunt Flo his present. It's another hat for you, I'm afraid. Oh, what a hatty Christmas I'm having, says Aunt Flo. Now it's my turn, she says. A very happy Christmas to you all. Aunt Flo has given them all handkerchiefs. Thank you so much, says Bod. These handkerchiefs will come in very nosy. I mean, these nosekerchiefs will come in very handy. Aunt Flo couldn't have given a more useful present, for Bod and his friends have all caught colds from their night in the snow. It was worth catching cold, thinks Bod, to meet Father Christmas and to see Aunt Flo in all those hats. Happy, happy... <laughs> Atishimus, says Bod. There goes Bod. And here comes what? Can you spot what it is? Something for a party? Something to pull? A cracker. There's something inside it. What do you think it is? A ring, a paper crown, or a whistle? 
Which one? Have you made your guess? A paper crown. Did you guess that? Some more things to guess. Presents wrapped up. Can you guess what's inside the wrapping of this one? And there's the corner of something. Um, perhaps it's a bumper. There's a wheel. And windows. It's a car. Oh, here's a fat round present. It's got a slot on top. Flowers? Oh, there's its face. It's... It's a piggy bank. Now, what's inside this parcel with the snowman on the paper? Those ears at the top? Yes, there he is. And there's its eyes. Oh, that's a familiar face. It's a teddy bear. One, two, three, four, five. Five white snowmen standing in the snow. Five white snowmen standing in the snow. But if one white snowman should melt away, just so, there'd be four white snowmen standing in the snow. Four white snowmen standing in the snow. But if one white snowman should melt away, just so, There'd be three white snowmen standing in the snow. Three white snowmen standing in the snow. But if one white snowman should melt away, just so, there'd be two white snowmen standing in the snow. Two white snowmen standing in the snow. But if one white snowman should melt away, just so, There'd be one white snowman standing in the snow. One white snowman standing in the snow. But if that white snowman should melt away, just so, there'd be no white snowman melting in the snow. Snow. And there's more on the way. Snowfall takes all. By quiet more than storm, by quiet falls at night, by dawn all is white. Snow falls on one and snow falls on all, on one twig and all, on all twigs and one, on one roof and all, on all roofs, and one. Snowfall takes all, by quiet falls at night, by dawn all is white. <laughs> Do you hear that? There's an amazing band in there. Alberto Frog and his amazing animal band. Here's a story about them. They were busy practicing Christmas carols, but every now and then Hippo on the horn would play a wrong note or play when he wasn't meant to. Next day, when they were out practising in the snow to get used to the cold, Alberto went up to Hippo and said, Is there something worrying you, Hippo? I've never known you play so many wrong notes. As a matter of fact, there is, said Hippo. I can't think what to get the missus, my wife, Mrs Potamus, that is. I can't think what to get her for her birthday. 
and it falls on Christmas Day of all days. I've thought of buying her a big box of chocolates, but no. I've thought of buying her a big bunch of flowers, but no. I've thought of buying her a hat, but nothing seems to fit. Hmm, said Alberto. Hmm, I've got an idea, but we'll have to keep it secret if it's going to be a surprise. That night, Alberto Frog sat up late, humming tunes to himself and writing them down. For the next few days, the animal band played carols in the evening. But in the day, they weren't to be seen around the town. They were practicing in the most out of the way places. Christmas morning came and Hippo got out of bed very early. Then Mrs Hippo was woken by the sounds of music coming from the other side of the bedroom door. She got up, opened the door and to her amazement found the whole animal band playing on the stairs. Many happy returns, my dear, said Hippo, as the music finished. I hope you liked the present. Alberto wrote the music and we've been practising for days to get it right. Oh, you couldn't have given me a better present, said Mrs Potamus. Play it again. There goes the animal band. And here comes... Do you remember? Bod. And here comes... Who is it? Aunt Flo. And here comes... Who's this? Frank the Postman. And here comes... Farmer Barlymo. And here comes, last but not least, PC Copper. Two coppers, snap. Two flows, snap. Bod and Frank. Now that's not snap, it's two different pictures. You say snap when you see two pictures the same. Bod and Barlymo. No, that's not snap. Bod and Aunt Flo. No. Bod and Frank. No, that's, that's not snap. Bod and Bod. Bod on one side and Bod on the other. Snap. <laughs> There goes Bod and his friends, but he'll be back.